everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 413. I'm Nate Moore. I just spoke recently to another group, did a four-hour seminar on using Excel in a medical practice. Then the next day we did business intelligence for medical practices. When you're ready to have a presentation on business intelligence or custom reporting or Excel in a medical practice, I'd love to speak to your meeting as well. What I want to do today is go Alt F11, play a little bit more with debugging macros and trying to figure out what's going on. Since we uh, last talked, I went down here and added a couple of lines of code. One to uh, just change to go to a different part of my spreadsheet. And then remember created by Nate. Remember that macro that we've got hanging around out here that just simply writes created by Nate in whatever cell we're in. What I'm doing is I've added that macro to this macro. So lesson number one, I guess, is a macro, learn something, can call another macro created by Nate. And it can nest or cascade that way, and you can call a bunch of macros from macros and do what you need to do. What I want to do is show you how to debug those, because it can get complicated when you're going from macro A to B to C, then back to B, now back to D, now over to A, and it just gets way too confusing. So when you go to debug, let's come up here and let's step into like we're going to debug, and then let's just do the F8 key for a little while, work our way down to here. Now that I'm here, I'm going to select this range, and then if I hit F8 again, what will, well, let me show you my options, then I'll do F8 again. F8 will step into, it will go into this created by Nate macro and start running it. Step over, Shift F8, will run the macro and just jump right over it. It won't go line by line through it like we're doing here. It won't look at every single, it will it won't show you every single row as it goes through. Let's phrase it that way. So if we, let's step into just for fun. Rather than skip it, we're going to do step into. So if we do that, let's do one more. Now I'm inside created by Nate. Now what my choices are is I can continue to run. Or what step out will do was it will run this macro and take me back to where I belong. In fact, let's do that. Let's do step out. So now it's it's run created by Nate and it's gone out of this macro and back to the main calling macro. So again, from the debug menu, step into is what we started with. Just run the next row, run the next row, run the next row. Step over says run that, that subroutine, that other macro, that other procedure I've got going. But don't show me line by line. R step over it. Still run it, but step over it. I don't want to see the line by line activity. What step out will do is if I'm in created by Nate and I say, okay, yeah, I see this is working. This is what I want. I don't want to follow the way through this. I can step out and go back to the calling procedure, the parent procedure that called this thing. That's what step into, step over, and step out will do. Stay tuned next time. We're going to talk about run to cursor and how you can drag around to get the yellow row of what I'm going to do next to go wherever you want to go. Thanks for watching.